she wasn't willing to forget about the womb. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Hagar and Sarah. We ain't talking about nobody. <laughs> 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 so divine destiny, prophetic openings, all of that being made available, all of the spiritual empowerment of God being willing to be released, the anointing that was on Abraham was now moving on the inside of her, but she couldn't tap into it because she wouldn't let her flesh die long enough mm. to allow the spirit's voice to have some strength. My mm. Lord. My Lord. Mm. Mm. Are you with me? My yeah. Yeah. Mm. And so we go to verse 17. Oh, I, I didn't do 12. Verse 12, and it says, because you won't let this womb close. Hmm. This is what's coming on to what you're about to drop. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. If we don't let the womb close, Wild things mm -hmm. God. begin to be produced for us. My, 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 my. It's bad enough when you're wild wow. and no one can get along with you. Come on mm -hmm. now. But everything you put your hands to mm -hmm. begins to take on the attributes of a wild one. Wow. It is constantly in contention with everything else. 16 boards inside of the church, but the board you're on can never get along with the other 15 because the wild thing. Amen. Amen. And we won't look at because of the womb, we won't look at that if we can grab hold of God, we can get past this. We keep looking at, they don't treat me right. And we don't recognize it's the womb talking. That's right. <laughs> in glory we're after something that sparkles but it ain't glory wow. yeah. mm -hmm. it's neon lights and Wall Street advertisement, mm -hmm. but there's no real depth and merit to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shake it twice and it's going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. And because we want to hide that there's no real substance to it, we can become even more animated in our wildness. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at me. I don't know why she always sit over here. <laughs> she knows I don't like her. <sighs> I'm gonna act like God in this. <laughs> she hasn't done anything to you. You're trying to hide that the wound has produced something that has no merit in it because it's devoid of the spirit of God. Yeah. So God is making an invitation now. Now, um, there is promise being released, and I, I, I need to move a little quicker than I'm moving because I will never get to 21. <laughs> I'm going. Hallelujah. So let me skip a few things and drop down in some other pieces. No, I'm going to run, and you'll, you'll get the gist of all of this stuff. I want you to see that God's intention 
like Pastor Misty talked last night, God's intention that the fullness of the things of God were manifested in Hagar and Ishmael. Mm -hmm. One of the verifications of that is that God reminds Abraham that I have a covenant with you. And then he says to him, and there's going to be a token, there's going to be a mark in you that's going to exemplify in the natural realm that a spiritual covenant has been yes. cut. Mm -hmm. And that uh, token was that they would be circumcised. The foreskin, the flap uh -huh. that was hiding the spiritual opening was going to be removed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. We're going to take that thing off mm -hmm. so that the voice of the Spirit can come rushing through. Mm -hmm. Before Isaac is produced, Abraham, I got to take off of you that flesh skin that's preventing the spirit man inside of you to stand up. And so I'm going to cut that thing. He cut, cut, God. I'm going to cut that thing and remove it. And the exemplification that God had intentions for Hagar and Ishmael, even though man created it, God still wanted to bless it, was that when the circumcision fell, it hit Abraham and Ishmael. Oh, so Ishmael was carrying in him the sign that the skin, the, the flesh part had been cut away so that he was able, if he would have chose to move past his mother's womb, yeah. he could stand in the spirit and have the wildness taken off again. Yeah. Mm. But how many of you know that if the folk around you are constantly breathing wounds, if all they rehearse is flesh this and flesh that, yeah. me this and me that, yeah. if your taste buds have become acquainted with vain glory and you don't know the full value of true glory, that even when God gives you the opportunity to have the yeah. flesh cut off so that you can stand up in the things of yeah. God, you're going to cling to the wound. And the evidence was that he still held on to yes. his mother's womb. Yes. Is that when Isaac was born? And the time came for his circumcision, yeah. which was the evidence that Isaac also was now co-partner in the yeah. covenant with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He could not understand how God could have him and have Isaac and it still be all right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. The wound said, you have to make a choice. It's either me or them. You can't love both of us. <coughs> We're talking yes, about Ishmael right. and Isaac. Yeah. You can't love her and love me too. You can't believe in her and believe in me too. You got to pick, Pastor. It's either me or her. We got to understand that that thinking is being driven by the wounds that are in our life. And they are not about God. Because God can love me and love you. And his love in me won't take anything from his love for you. Because what's coming to me ain't coming to you. And if you know the truth, you wouldn't want it. Because it costs us to walk where we walk. He equips you to walk in your walk, but you ain't equipped to walk in mine. So when you step over into my lane. Yeah. Yes. 
you're going to find some devils that you ain't never met before. Oh, oh, my. My. And they're going to have some armory that you have no protection for. Yeah. And they're going to take you out. And we're going to have to bring the EMT squad in the spirit <laughs> to put you back together again. Right? Right. 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 Ah, God, help me. Help me, God. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to work this thing out. Mm -hmm. So because he still had his mama's womb, mm -hmm. and he still thought it was about us, mm -hmm. about me and my mama, mm -hmm. about the fact you went into her, mm -hmm. but you don't know. Mm -hmm. And she already felt like she had no identity, and now she's convinced of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She couldn't make an investment in me because she didn't have anything to invest. Uh. <laughs> and now the wound that is in her is in me. Mm. And so I'm determined that my flesh is always going to be at odds with you, Abraham, mm. and your household because my wound is open. Yeah. I want you to go to my last supporting scripture. <laughs> but we ain't done with Genesis. I want you to go to Philippians 3.14 because I want us for a minute to look at markings. <clears throat> markings. Mark, Markings. Markings. Philippians 3, 14. Excuse me if I sit down just for a second. Y'all making me work too hard. Reverend Tommy. Come on down. In my pocketbook is a Bible. You can bring I brought my own, bring your own. I brought my own. <laughs> Can you it's move? just water, y'all. It's just water. I'm just going to sweat on a sweater. Okay, that's all right. Get another one now. No, thank you. I'll take another one. This one's getting kind of laggy. It's probably even lit all over my face by now. All right. We all in Philippians 3.14. Somebody read, 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 read. Well, no scripture. We know this real good. Read. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. I need King James. <laughs> Thank you. But I need King James. Here it is. That the blessing of, you said, of uh, King James. Philippians 3.14. Okay. Oh, I mean Galatians. Wait a minute now. Oh, <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay, I press. Here it is. <laughs> I press for the mark. You yes. press towards what? The mark. The mark. <laughs> now they say, translations say that that mark thing is a goal. It's something to be achieved. But I want you to grab hold of what you're trying to achieve is the mark. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Circumcision mark. was a mark. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. That's right. It was the sign yeah. that you were in the covenant with God. As born again believers, there should be a mark, mark. in us mark. 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 Mm -hmm. that shows we are part of the covenant. Mm -hmm. And that mark is pointing to the fact that our covenant right is, read the rest of the verse. <laughs> For the prize mm -hmm. of the high calling mm -hmm. of God in Christ Jesus. The mark is the evidence, thank you, that we should be about the business of the high call. All right. All right. All right. That the award of being born a kin is to be able to have the mark 
that allows you to walk. If you were a Jew and you were circumcised, it didn't matter what you did. You was a Jew, you was a Jew, you was a Jew, you was a Jew. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's saying as born again Christians, we should get a mark in uh, uh, yes. uh, 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 us that begins to move us. To begin to operate in the high calling. And the high calling is, my flesh is dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the spirit is alive inside me. Hallelujah. And I can hear God. Because my flesh has shut its mouth. Uh, you can't not hear yeah. God, not because you don't know his voice, and not because he don't talk, but because your flesh is talking loud. Yeah. And your wounds are screaming louder. But the spirit of God is constantly talking yeah. on the inside. And if you can shut your flesh down just for a second, yeah. you can hear what God is talking Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. And so God brought Ishmael. Thank you. God brought Ishmael into that mark that he would have the fullness of what belonged to Abraham and what belonged to Isaac. Yes. He was just going to put him in a different location. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Yeah. We all understand just because you're in a different location yeah. doesn't mean that God has not dispersed the fullness yeah. of what he intends to you. You're just in a different, different location. location. Yeah. Everybody yeah. can be a story. That's right. That's but that right. don't mean that the fullness of the spirit of God is not operating in you. That's right. Amen. 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 <laughs> The fullness of the Spirit of God may be operating in you because you are a trustee who goes and cleans the bathroom. And because, I love this analogy, because the fullness of God is operating in you when you go and you clean that bathroom, you sing hymns and songs yeah. and spiritual songs unto the Lord and that when anybody steps into the throne room, they don't just get toilet paper and paper towels. They get assaulted by the Most High God. Yes. Mm. 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 And while they're sitting there, do you notice most of us don't talk when we go in the throne room? That's when we're right. in there with our mouth shut, maybe for the first time oh. all day, Sunday, maybe this time God can get a word through. The person that the pastor didn't reach with the message because they text the whole way through it. Wow. That the usher couldn't pray for when he let them out because when they came to their pew, they went. Mm. Mm. The choir couldn't sing something that would penetrate their heart because they were singing a melody that said, drop it while you're hot, and they didn't hear what the praise and worship team were singing. But when they were arrested because they thought they were going to a safe place to do their business and their armor had been dropped, that which you had deposited in the throne room is going to get them, and they're going to say, what must I do because the heart of the kingdom is not that they know it was you who uh -huh. prayed that prayer. Wow. <laughs> All right. The heart of the kingdom is they saw God. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. All this activity around Hagar and Ishmael. <coughs> Supernatural stuff happening left and right. God speaking with outrageous statements. And they still have not seen God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know his name. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are associated with the line that he has selected. 2012 13 translation. Mm. They come into the house 
they sing the hymns. Mm -hmm. Their name is on the roll. Mm -hmm. Their family line donated a pew or a window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they can tell about their mama's conversion. Mm -hmm. And they can talk about their grandfather's conversion. Mm -hmm. But they can't talk about their own. Jesus. Yes. Amen. They can talk about when they mentally asserted the fact that they believe mm -hmm. that God is real. Mm. Yes. The fact that you mentally agree that you believe that God is real is not conversion. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Because conversion is not your soul coming in contact with God. It's not your mind. It's not your emotion. I feel good isn't conversion. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I want to follow Jesus isn't conversion. Nope. Because right. you're not converted. Jesus said to Paul, when I mean to Peter, that when you are converted, then you can be a use to the kingdom because right now you're just an irritant. <laughs> Your mouth is always running and you're always in the middle of a conflict. That's right. Because you got some wounds that you've not surrendered over to me yet. But when your spirit has an encounter with me, and the spirit of God intertwines with your human spirit. And you say, God, now you can be Lord. That means, God, I agree. Not only that I know you are God, but I'm going to allow you to be in charge and be Lord. Until that happens, you're not converted. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. Name on the road. Amen. Fifteen years on the story yeah. board, yeah. but you ain't converted. That's right. Oh, I forgot. We talked about oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, mm. Mm. Mercy. Mental assent that says, I believe that we, we so have twisted that scripture out of proportion. Mm -hmm. Mental assent that says, I believe that Jesus Christ went to the cross and that he died. And on the third day, he was rose again. Does not mean salvation. Mm -hmm. Right. The devil knows. He doesn't believe it. He, he knows, knows that, right. that Jesus is the Son of yes. God. He yes. knows no. that he was crucified and shed his blood for the remissions mm -hmm. of sins. Mm -hmm. He knows that on the third day he was rose yes. again. He knows all that, but the devil is not saved because the devil will not allow God to be Lord. Because right. yeah. yeah. he wants it to be about him. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Side journey. Didn't intend to go there. Side journey. That's good. One last piece we want to drop in. This mark now. This mark that God is trying to put on us. It says, I die daily. It would be nice that at my salvation, I could just die and it was over. But the problem is that I went to the altar at my salvation and say, all oh, to Jesus I surrender. And I met it with everything that was in me. But when I got up from the altar, there was an acid test where God sent somebody who would pour salt in the place where my womb is so that he could see whether or not I had shut that thing down or not. And sometimes we fail with that. Mm -hmm. But it's okay if you fail. As long as when you realize you failed, you run to Jesus and shut that thing down. Yes. 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 The only problem is if you won't admit that your wound is acting yes, up. Mm -hmm. And you try to make somebody else feel like they the problem. Yes. 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 
Mm. 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 Oh, I, I'm, I'm ending because I'm past my time and I'm, I'm, I'm closing this down. Hallelujah. It says, so here they are, circumcised, unwilling to shut down their wounds. And so they still acting up like a wild thing. Hallelujah. And so Sarah finally says, there's no place I got this now. I got that God is doing something and man has nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. And so what I initiated in the flesh can't stay here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm cutting yeah. this flesh piece off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she says to Abraham, tell Hagar and her wild son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hagar was the first baby mom. <laughs> Pack her up and send her off. And so Abraham did what he could do for her in the natural. He gave her some bread and he gave her a little bit of water. The water was only meant to last to get her to the place of meeting with God. Mm -hmm. It wasn't meant to last mm -hmm. any longer than that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was just meant to last till she got to wow. the place where she could meet with God, who would in that moment give her the real woman yeah. mm -hmm. that would never yeah. run yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. 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 And so here she goes with her, her wild kid, and a bit of bread, and her little bit of water. And she recognized that in the natural, this is not sufficient. And because she has no connection in the spirit with God, she does not understand that God has resources that are beyond the natural. Yes. 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 And so she believes that it's all over for both of them, and that Abraham, because he never really knew her, never really cared about her, mm -hmm. she didn't get it. Mm -hmm. He cared about her. He just didn't love her. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. <laughs> she believed that he had sent them out to die. Mm -hmm. She did not understand that he gave them the provision that was necessary to get to God so that God could do for her what only God could do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only a reconnection in her spirit mm -hmm. with the Most High God yeah. could close that wound down mm -hmm. so that she could function. Mm -hmm. And so she went out, hallelujah, and it says that she took her son, mm -hmm. and we got to go and we got to look at this piece again. <sighs> Verse 15 in chapter 21, and it says the water was spent, and Pastor Misty talked about the prophetic overhang mm -hmm. of the shrub that opened the prophetic door. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I want you to see something else. That the water was spent, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. Now, the child had been drinking up until this moment. So the child is not thirsty right now because mm -hmm. the water just got spent, which means they just had a drink. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know I'm about to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come look with me. Mm -hmm. And it said, as she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were, a bow shot. And she said, let me not see the death of our child. And she sat over against him. And she lifted up her voice. Mm -hmm. The child ain't said a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody home? Mm -hmm. Child hasn't said a word. Mm -hmm. She talking. Mm -hmm. First time, she was quiet. This time, the child is quiet. Mm -hmm. And it says that God heard the voice of the lad. 
God didn't hear her voice because flesh was talking. Mm -hmm. The baby's flesh wasn't talking. Mm -hmm. But the spirit inside of him yes. was talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God that was in him was saying, my crazy mom is about to do it to us again. <laughs> <laughs> God, I know that he is not following in the realm of the spirit, but you've made a covenant promise with his father. So for his That's father's right. sake, yeah. 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 come see about him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says that God came and began to speak, but he spoke because the spirit in the boy Mm -hmm. began to speak to God. Yes. God is not moved by our wounds talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And if we're going to be what God is taught, calling us to be, we have to stop being moved by our wounds mm -hmm. talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we got to learn how to surrender those things to God. So that the spirit can then rise up yeah. on the inside of us and release the provision that is needed to get us from where we are to where God promised we yeah. were meant to be. Yeah. Unfortunately, for Hagar and Ishmael, God talked to them directly and they still wouldn't say to their flesh, so shut up and sit down. God's spirit is on the inside of us, knitted with our human spirit, releasing to us everything that is necessary from the ability of God to be able to stand and say, I'm not going to be moved by what I see. I'm going to be moved by what God has said. Yes. And yet we stand with Hagar and Ishmael and Sarah and Abraham and Isaac. We stand at the place of decision. <clears throat> Who you going to listen to? Like it or not, you can't do God's work with your womb talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it or not, the longer you let your flesh be in control, the longer you delay your divine assignment. Mm -hmm. God has everything available for you in terms of godliness and righteousness and uprightness. You don't have to do what you've been doing just because you want to. All that says is that your flesh is in charge. God says, put off the old man. He said, in salvation, I did everything. But there's one thing he continues to ask us to do. is put off the old man. To die daily and tell this flesh, it can't be in charge. When the test time came, Hagar failed. And the question to you and I now is, Will we pass or will we fail? Mm -hmm. We'll be in the church and all fleshy. Mm -hmm. Getting on our own nerves mm -hmm. and getting on each other's nerves. Mm -hmm. Conflict inside the house of God simply means that there's flesh somewhere running mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you let the Spirit of God, He will shut that thing down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But only the Spirit of God mm -hmm. can shut it down. Yes. Yes. And so we're going to lift our hands. Oh, God, I'm over my time. I tried real hard. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. With my four scriptures, I tried. <laughs> We're going to lift our hands up to the Lord God Almighty who loves each and every one of us in this room. That destiny and purpose was 
designed before he placed us in our mother's womb. Yes. And that God has a location that is singularly honed out just for you. And that in that location is everything that you need from the Godhead to be able to operate in that so that you can have a divine impact on the earth and that the kingdom of God can be released through some portion of you into the earth realm. And because of that, somebody who doesn't know Jesus yet is going to come to know him. But the question becomes, as you look at the place of conflict mm -hmm. between the contradiction of what he called you to mm -hmm. and what you look at when you look at yourself, mm -hmm. the question that we have to answer in this moment is will we surrender? Mm -hmm. And let the Spirit of God be in charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Or will we continue to feel that our wounds give us the right mm -hmm. to make it all about us? Mm -hmm. I can't lay hands on you and force you to say yes. Because if I could, Mm. But I gotta make my choice, mm. and you have to make your choice mm. because God won't put off your flesh, mm. and neither can I. Mm. The only flesh I can put off is my own. Mm. And but I do want to construct in this moment. That just like Hagar, God has put his foot in your life and rescued you from running into some walls. God has put his hand in your life after you've been breached by Tom and Dick and Harry. Mm -hmm. And he prevented you from destroying yourself mm -hmm. after those wounds had opened Thank up. You, God's word has been released to you so that you could know that God loves you and that he saved you and that your sins are covered and he remembers them no more. But the question becomes, whose report will you believe? What God has said or what your eyes see in the natural. And I'm just creating a moment. Where we call on the north and the south and the east and the west winds to collide into the midst of the basement of this place called Mount Zion on this Saturday and to begin to whirl in the confines of this room that it would reignite hearing eyes and seeing ears and I said what I meant that God would reverse our natural mm -hmm. senses so that our spiritual senses could rise again. And that we would see that what is impossible for us is already done by God. Mm -hmm. And because we see him, maybe for the first time, we see him high and lifted up mm -hmm. above our circumstances, above our situations, above what we think we don't have and what we think we still need. Above all of that, we see God high and lifted up and his train, ah, his train is beginning to fill our temple. Because of that, the still small voice of the Spirit of God, we hear him. Mm -hmm. We hear him say what God has for me. Mm -hmm. 
is more important to me than what my flesh wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We hear him say again, mm -hmm. we are the apple of God's eye. Mm -hmm. And he's got the best for us. So it's not going to match yes. what he wants to yes. release yes. in our lives. Yes. Yes. We can hear the spirit of God mm. say again, hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ. Oh, we can hear God say again. Huh? that healing is released in this womb and all old wounds that will be surrendered to the altar in this moment shall be closed supernaturally by the blood that was shed by Jesus on the cross so here we stand at a choice Will we surrender the wound and give it to Jesus? Mm. And allow him to be Lord. And allow our eyes to open that we can see true glory. Mm. The glory and the majesty of the Most High God. Yeah. And allow him to begin to transform us from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Or will we hold on to the places where we've been breached? Mm -hmm. It's just a choice. It doesn't require a cartwheel. Doesn't require the citing of scripture from Genesis to Revelation. It's just a choice. Mm -hmm. I choose mm -hmm. Jesus. <coughs> what anybody else did to me or didn't do to me doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I choose Jesus. Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be my way. I want it to be God's way. Yes. I choose <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. I submit to him. Mm -hmm. My lips aren't poked out. Mm. I know that the submission means he's going to ask me to do some things I don't want to do. That's what submission means. Mm -hmm. But I say in advance to the request, God, that my yes is a yes, is a yes, is a yes. And even as I say to you, yes, your way and not mine, mm -hmm. that very statement is bringing him into my life. Your will, not mine. All to Jesus. I'm surrendering all to him. I'm just giving. Mm -hmm. The worldly pleasures, the things I think I want, the things I think I need, the things I desire, the things that I think will make me happy, all that stuff, all forsaken. And I say to God, take me. Take me. Take me in. And so even as you do that decision, it's a decision. It's a decision. It's a decision. It's a decision. Don't have to worry about the outcome. God got the outcome. Just make the decision. Make the decision. Amen. Trust that God can do what he said he can do. Make the decision. Yes, there's a conflict between what you hear God say and what you feel right now in this moment. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be a God decision if there wasn't a conflict. Yeah. And God is saying, will you trust me? Mm -hmm. When he left you and you thought your life was over, 
it was me who kept you upright. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Will you trust me? When everybody around you said you weren't going to amount to nothing, mm -hmm. I kept investing in you. Yes, Will you trust you, Lord. me? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When the wounds were trying to overwhelm you to the point that you thought you would take your own life, I stepped in. He says, will you trust me? And for the first time, the stubborn streak in you that has you bucking and being a wild thing that you will allow God to break it. Yes. But he can't break what you won't surrender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I ask for a movement. And you need to decide what your movement is. I just ask for a movement mm -hmm. that indicates to God, not to me, not to your neighbor, but to God, that this thing is his. Mm -hmm. And you're giving it to him, that he can heal the broken pieces and break the stubborn parts. Mm -hmm. You need to do your own movement. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your movement is. But I'll do my movement for me, and you, you do your movement for you. It might be a sound. It might be a motion. It might be standing up. It might be lifting your hands. It might be bowing down. I don't know what God needs to pull up out of you that would signify between you and him that you are receiving his mark fresh. Yeah, that you are receiving his mark fresh. And coming to the high call. That is yes. 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 He's calling you. Yes. 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 He's calling you. He's calling you. He's calling you. Come on.
is released in the fullness of us. All to you, Lord God. We give it to you. We give it all to you, Lord God. Take full control. Be Lord in this house. Be Lord in our lives.